Three, two, one. What's up, guys? Super Duper Andrew. Welcome back to Mario Golf Super Rush. Whee! Today, we gotta talk to this guy, apparently. Hello! You already know the basics of lob shots, yes? I see. Lob shots are the best, are they not? Answer carefully. Um, okay. Oh, that is correct. the correct answer. And your reward? One of my own legendary lob wedges. Take it without guilt. I have others. Do not ask how many. That... Well, that was easy. Okay. Well, now that you have your very own lob wedge, there's something else you should see. We make a pilgrimage to Master Duff? Uh, yeah. Very well, you're going to need a larger recommendation. I suppose I can provide you with one. Yay! I'm afraid I can't provide his exact location. He's mysterious like that. But try looking at the Balmy Dunes practice area. If you learn from him, I, I'm sure new paths will open up for you. Bright, shiny paths lined with sparkling lob wedges. <laughs> okay, dude. This, this guy's obsessed with those, apparently. Hello there. Hello. I actually need to talk to you. What's this? You have a letter of recommendation for Master Lob? Hmm. Let me verify its authenticity. Hmm, I see. Yes. Oh ho! So, you have some familiarity with lob shots, but you are about to learn just how much there is yet to learn. Do you wish to learn the way of the duff? Yes. I see. Let me consider this. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to put you through a simple test. We'll see if you got the right stuff for the way of the duff. Follow me. To learn the way of the duff, one must master impact timing. Mm -hmm. That is, the art of timing the precise moment your club strikes the ball. You will learn this now. Land three shots within the pot on top of the stone eye in front of you. Let the duff gauge be your guide. With, when the circles align, quickly take your shot from maxim, for maximum duffage. And keep in mind that when hitting high, you should swing hard and aim a bit beyond your target. Okay, cool. Yay! The Duff Gauge! Cool. Um, here we go, and... Woo! Ah! Dang it. Uh, let's try that again. And, oh! Too late. Um, let's try that again. Uh, I'm gonna get it this time! Yes! Woo! I did it! Oh no. Frick. Um, not enjoying this. Alright, let's see if it actually moved me because I got it in there. Good. Yes, it, it, it did move me because I got the first one in. Okay. Good to know. Ah, oh, finally! Sheesh. And, dang it. Boom! No! Come on! There we go! Yay! Well done! What, what a marvelous lob! What marvelous lob shots! But can we go even higher? Oh ho! I assure you that we can. You can press the left button again to get in the wire stance. Prepare to try something new—a super lob shot. Let's land three more right in the same place, inside the pot on top of the stone eye. Ooh. Oh, good. It switched stances for me. Good, good. Um, come on, and yeah! Woo! And boom! Yes! I did it! For you to have accomplished this feat so quickly, you are already strong with the duff. All that remains is to teach you the true and final way of the duff. Okay. Don't even think about the ball or how much power to use. This is the way of the duff. Take your stance and place your trust in the way of the duff. Um, now perform another swing, paying close attention to the duff gauge. Trust your training, mesh timing, and duff it with power, okay? Why? Ooh, I missed. Yes, you have done it! What a glorious blast shot out of the sand executed to perfection via the duff gauge. You can imagine how such a shot might serve you well in the course, can you not? Yep! I can feel that you already won with the way of the duff. 
you, my friend, are destined for greatness. I can see now that Master Lob was not exaggerating in the letter of recommendation he wrote for you. I hope this, the techniques you've learned with will serve you well. The Lob Shot will get you out of bunkers and the Blast Shot, well, I'm sure it will come in handy at just the right moment. Stay strong in the way of the duff. I look forward to your success, Winged Fire. Nice. Woo! I did it! I did a thing! Yay! And let's... Oh, I only, I only leveled up once. I have returned! Hello! Hey, it's Winged Fire, right? I showed you a thing or two about lob shots. Did you manage to track down Master Lob? Good gravy, is that a lob witch? Did Master Lob give that to you? You must have really impressed him. Uh, I guess? You're a talented golfer who also puts in the work. Those two unusual gentlemen with the mustaches, however, have disrespected the club's strict rule prohibiting showboating. Let me guess. Wario and Waluigi. And they have yet to play so much as a single hole of golf. There's a road between the front and back nine that lead right to the statue. Sound like they Sounds like they've been making a lot of noise in that area. Some of the noise may have been the sound of them being struck by lightning. There's a reason our members don't visit that area. To the statue, I guess. Weep! Oh, this pathway! We never went down that way! Uh, for a reason, too, because, like, we needed to unlock the Master Duff and... Ah! We needed to unlock the Master Duff and Master uh, Lob stuff. Ooh, it, it was them. Did you feel that? Did the, the lightning guys zap us again? Quit with the zapping, buddy! I feel so drained every time it happens. Oh, there we go. There's the Wario war voice. Yeah, what did we ever do to him? If we ever find him in person, I'm gonna get all my energy back, even if it takes all my energy to do it. Um, okay. That's the spirit! We're gonna get that lightning sword one way or another. Get amped! Ugh, I'm trying. It's hard to do stuff without energy. Come on, let's go back to the clubhouse for now. Huh. You know, I actually don't think I've ever given them a voice before. Pretty good time to start again. Yes. Welcome, brave golfer. Do not be alarmed. You have reached my domain. If you pass the three great trials, you shall learn my power. Hmm, that voice wasn't mystic or not. Mystic enough, but whatever. Ready or not, your trial begins now. First, the trial of distance. You must land three consecutive lightning orbs within the target to pass. And this is why I was focusing on, uh, on upgrading the driver at one point. Because I knew ahead of time that... Oh. Uh, Two hours later. Alright, let's see... Ah, I think... I think my, uh... Things improved just enough to where I think it'll land in the thing. No! Wait, what? Um, I don't know how I did that, but I'll I'll, I'll take it. Um, thank you. There we go. Good. Yay! And then, oh wait, no, 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 no. Um, There we go. And boom. There we go. Haha. <laughs> nice. Woohoo! I did it. <laughs> nice. Aw, oh, it would have been awesome if we leveled up from that. That would have been amazing. Anyways, to the statue, I guess. Since it should be open. Impressive. You may embark upon the second great trial. Come, make your way along the path. Uh, this is taking forever. Twelve seconds later. Ooh, there's the statue! Uh... I can't tell who that's a, supposed to be a statue of. Behold, the trial of Loft. You must hit three consecutive shots over the wall of water and land within the targets. Ah... I was like, what wall? And then there it is. <laughs> Anyways, it's a good thing we just learned the duff shot and the lob shot. Um. 
Oh wait. Uh. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't even need the lob shot for that one. There we go. And lob shot should work here though. Ah, frick, nah! Well, now I now I know how to how I'm supposed to do it. It'll be much easier landing in there. Um, and then again, ooh, a super lob shot. I forgot about that. That was like the duff shot, I think. Damn, frick! I missed. Uh, let's try that again. Boom! There we go. Alright. Let's try that again. And boom! And boom! Yes! Thank you! And last one! Break a mist! Two hours later. Please. Just let me make it this time. Thank you. Good. Finally. Nice. Okay. Oh, that took way too many re redos. That was very annoying. Yay, level up. Cool. Give me that upgrade. Thank you. And there we go. Now we're about to do the third trial, which is wonderful. You are ready for the third and final great trial. Come closer. Okay, cool. That's a pretty neat looking statue. Can't tell who it's of, though. Behold, the trial of timing. You must wield duff shots and deflect three of my lightning attacks before time runs out. Unguard! Oh. Oh, the boss, the first boss fight! Weird how the boss fights don't actually happen until near the end of the game, but whatever. Um. That was amazing. <laughs> that was so cool. The statue's alive. Ooh. Alright, um, there we go. Uh oh. Ah! Okay, I'm doing good so far. Um. Hmm. Aha! Uh. How do I get ready to shoot? How do I get ready to shoot? Okay, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Ah, maybe... Nope, oh, dang it! I can't hit it. Oh! And... Wait for it... Boom! Woohoo! Here we go. Ah, those circles were making these. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, nope, nope, nope. Stop that. Stop it. Um. Okay, there we go. And. Okay, why, why is it taking forever? That, like, legit took forever. I don't know why. Alright, go, go, go! Just run around, I guess. Whee! Whee! <laughs> run! There we go. And... There we go. Gonna hit the last lightning back at the thing. And... Finally! She still took forever. Hooray! That was awesome! <laughs> Level up! Woo! And that is awesome! Woo! Incredible! You have proven yourself worthy of my power! Woo! You got the lightning sword! Uh, okay. Oh, hello. Look, that little that little weasel got it before we could. I could I can feel its power from here. Hey pal, uh what you gonna do with that old thing? It's probably worthless, you know. <laughs> He's right, Trump. 
Do you even know how to use a sword? <laughs> you ain't thinking of sw swinging it around like a golf club, are you? <laughs> yeah, swords are dangerous, especially that one, seeing as it can summon thunder clouds and lightning straight out of the sky. Is that why Wario's able to do that? Yes. Hmm. I heard that you can use that thing to fill the whole sky with clouds, even on a sunny day. Wait, but that means it's just the thing we need to find the treasure! Waluigi! Quit saying stuff out loud! Okay. Wario, you were too much. We're gonna have the last laugh. Wahaha! <laughs> that wasn't it. That is more where that came from. Wahaha! <laughs> See? Bah, well, I think the person with the sword turned out to, tuned out a while back, so we're good. We'll see you later, pal. Keep that sword safe and, uh, full of lightning for us. Okay. Pardon me, I am not accustomed to being bested. I had to collect myself for a moment. Where are we? Ah, yes, you have passed the great trials. I have? You've proven your strength and revealed a heart that is noble and just. Cool, I guess? I have long awaited such a hero, a hero such as you, the one who must save this land. It, it, it's a golf game! What, what is there to save? If you will allow me to explain the situation we are facing, perhaps you have noticed the extreme weather has plagued this area. If only the hero you call Bowser could be roused from his slumber. Uh, we don't exactly call him a hero of sorts? Perhaps I should go back up. You see, you have seen the snowy peak that looms over this land, I trust. It is known as Mount Snow and was long ruled by the evil Snow King. For years, the Snow King cast blizzards down, encasing the world in ice, until the great hero Bowser arrived, wielding the power of flame. This mighty power awoke, awoke the long dormant volcano, releasing a flood of lava that warmed the region and defeated the Snow King. Praise be to Bowser, his arrival blessed the land with with a great thaw and returned peace to its inhabitants. If only that were the end of this tale. That warm weather has other effects that could not have been anticipated. Strong winds formed and scattered pollen from the tree's sleep. When deeply inhaled from a flower, this pollen lulled the great Bowser into a sleep from which he has yet to wake. With Bowser slumbering, his power of flame weakened, showing, slowing the volcanic activity. It is tragic that the Tree of Sleep played a part in this catastrophe. Normally it is a benevolent force that, force that soothes the collective soul of the region. It has long been rever revered, revered, uh, I don't know how to say that word, as a symbol of peace across these lands. Perhaps one day soon it will be so again. Forgive me, I get carried away when I speak about the Tree of Sleep. Uh, I have given you the power to save Mount Snow. You must travel to its peak and defeat the Snow King. Already the Snow King's chill encircles Bowser's castle. Before long it will be permafrost, and he won't stop there. There is so much more at stake. That is why we must seek the power of the sacred flame beast in Balmy Dunes. The beast guards a treasure known as the Fire Gem, which we can use to combat the Snow King's ice power. Oh, th I think Wario and Waluigi were about to actually go there. The lightning sword I have entrusted to you is a manifestation of my being. When you wield it, it will be as though I am at your side. Now then, the fire gem rests with the sacred flame beast in the desert sand near a place known as Treasure Corner. You must quest for it to unlock the power of flame for yourself. Hurry to Balmy Dunes! Next episode! Shut up, Toad! Next episode, we will be heading to Treasure Corner to search for the Power of Flame, but for now, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like and feel free to favorite. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't have plenty of videos. Let me know in the comments below what you guys like from me as well as what you want to see for the future. Check out my social media links, description. I'll see you later. Bye!